this is everything I used to film my video. I mean, kind of, but in today's video, I'll be showing you guys what's in my camera bag. Alright, so I've been making videos for about a year now, specifically on YouTube, and it got to a point where I needed to upgrade my camera gears to improve the quality of my videos. When selecting these gears, the goal was to be able to use them from anywhere, especially because I want to show how I integrate the tech products that I review in my daily life. So carrying all the content creation gears on days when I'm filming on the go is this backpack from Brevity. They call this a jumper backpack and it does look like a regular school bag but it's actually a camera bag. It's compact and lightweight whilst being functional and comes in a quality design made from 640D polyester. There are tons of colors to choose from when purchasing this and I think this pine green looks fire and matches my style. It's the perfect everyday carry backpack and even though I have other bags that I use depending on the day, this is my go-to backpack whenever I'm filming on the go. So, with 18 liter capacity, the bag features a customizable compartment in the front designed to hold camera related gears. The camera that I have been using recently to film all my videos is the Sony A7C Mark I, a compact full frame camera that is lightweight to carry around whilst producing stunning video quality. It shoots up to 4K 30fps and can get up to 120fps at 1080p, but the result is still clean for a slow motion b-roll to add somewhere in between my videos. I pair it with the Sigma 28-70mm f2.8 lens which is the only lens I currently use and honestly it's plenty enough to give me the quality I envision for my videos. It's a zoom lens that has a focus ring and also has an autofocus switch button. I wish I got the Sigma Arc 24-70mm to for a wider range but this was what I could afford at the time. Alright y'all so this is the quality of the Sony A7C paired with the Sigma um, 28-70mm to lens f2.8 but I'm currently recording at f18 right now because when I go down a little bit like, like this, you see the exposure is crazy and that's f10. And the ISO is at 100, so yeah. But this is the kind of quality I could get with filming with this, but I don't get that cinematic look. If I want to get the cin cinematic look, I have to drop the f-stop down to like f2.8, f4, or something like that. But I'm going to be showing you guys the ND filter that I used to get that blurry background, let's get it. Alright, so having an ND filter was something that wasn't really mentioned in the videos that I watched during my research for the right camera gear. The one that I use is the Nisi variable ND filter with 5 stops which was low key kind of expensive for me. Okay, I had to buy this after trying cheaper ones but the results of those were terrible. The Nisi ND filter is a true tone filter that gives me the flexibility to adjust the brightness without messing with the color tone of my videos. This was very important to me because I want the products that I review to look like they are being seen live all right guys so this is what i get when i'm filming with the variable nd filter from nisi even though this is at f2.8 i still get like that much brightness but if i like increase the f-stop to like maybe f4 i think that's like a pretty accurate color right there it's not too bright and stuff like that so as you guys could see the background is very very blurry right now and usually if i make tech videos and stuff like that so if i'm viewing like a product it's a very very natural light it gives like a very natural light to like the products and stuff like that i'm blurred out everything looks clean yeah i've used like other ones in the past and they were just like trash but this one it hits the spot now while i'm filming on the go i can easily place the camera in the bag using the zipper on the side that makes it easy for quick access the tripod I use is the Ulanzi Travel Tripod which has an hybrid design. It fits to my hand for a selfie vlog style but I won't lie, it's kind of heavy. I can also stand it to film myself away from the camera whenever I'm vlogging outdoors and additionally it's tall and perfect enough to get different angles for my videos. The tripod stays in the hook at the bottom of the bag that makes it easy to carry around when I'm switching locations. The microphone that I use is the Holy Land Wireless Bluetooth microphone. This one comes with just one microphone and I really can't say they have the best audio quality but they sound good enough all right guys so this is what the microphone sounds like is what i've been using in almost all my videos except if i'm doing like voice over but when i'm vlogging when i'm speaking to the camera directly this is what i use <clears throat> i don't think it's the best but i feel like it does a good job um if that makes sense but i'm going to show you guys the range so 
So I'm gonna place the camera right here and I'm gonna work all the way down there. And let's see if it's gonna do a great job. So this is where I am right now. I'm thinking that's about like, I don't know how far that is, but hopefully it's working. If the audio is working, then I think this has a good long range. So if you're making a video from this long distance, you should be fine. So yeah. So yeah, what do you guys think about the audio? Does it make sense? If it doesn't make sense, let me know. But yeah, the sun is crazy right now. Let's get back to the video. And when I'm done filming, I simply place it in the case it comes with to prevent it from getting lost. I might need to edit or transfer the footage I film on the go so I carry my M3 Pro MacBook along with me just in case. It's a powerful machine for a creative work that comes with 512GB of SSD. I use the Samsung T7 hard drive to store all my files so I'm fine with the 512GB of SSD on the inside. I like the fact that it comes with an SD slot making it convenient to transfer my footage in the quickest way possible. At 14 inches it's a portable laptop to carry around and it stays in the back compartment of the bag. Now everything I mentioned so far charges via USB-C and I carry just this one cable from Hexcal, a clean design cable with magnet on the body that doesn't cause any clutter in my bag. It transfers my files at fast speed and is capable of fast charging with my 70 watt charger whenever I need to juice things up on the go. These extra accessories stays in the front compartment of the bag and with that I have everything to film my videos on the go. If you guys find this video helpful make sure you drop a like and subscribe for weekly videos like this and i'll see you guys next week